can see, uh, this is a really diverse body of films. And I think um, it's, it's kind of an irresistible opportunity for a filmmaker uh, to, to kind of, to kind of uh, write their story and kind of, and kind of play in, in this way. So, um, so, yeah, and essentially that's what it is. It's kind of, it's kind of five filmmakers kind of, uh, kind of just, just really enjoying themselves. And I think, um, you know, to, to kind of put this in context, uh, we, we all know that kind of the, the, one of the roots and one of the main roots for aspiring filmmakers in, in, in this country is, uh, is uh, very much through music video and through commercials. Uh, and certainly with, um, very much now, through commercials. And uh, traditionally with that came some restraints and some, kind of, and some kind of things that held you back. And what was nice about this was there weren't any restraints. There wasn't anything to say. Well, you, well actually, nobody said you can't do that. So that's why, I, that's why I did it, because for once nobody was going to say, well, you can't. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Anyone else? Can we get a mic yeah. question? I'm actually curious, just, um, was this the first when you got those lines of dialogue, what was the first idea that kind of popped into your head? What was the kind of image that sparked going on for the rest of the film? It was, uh, for, I mean, I uh, directed Dark Room, which is the, the one with the bottom. And, um, <laughs> that's what it's, we're all going to know it that way. Uh, and, um, you know, I could, uh, as a designer director, I could play this game all, all year and I would enjoy it. Uh, I like this kind of thing, you know, here's a very kind of vague brief now, now just what on earth would you do? Uh, and the first thing that popped into my head was, was a girl in a bath. And so, uh, and you know, <laughs> this is a lot like therapy, isn't it? In kind of a, kind of a very public way. Um, I've been looking at some specialist sites and I, no, I, <laughs> I've had an image. I keep sketchbooks, and I kind of, I kind of keep them, uh, kind of, kind of, um, almost religiously, in the sense of, in the sense of, I, I kind of, I kind of work prolifically through sketchbooks, and kind of, uh, and and they're partly collage. And something I found years ago was was sort of just a lovely, odd image of uh, someone who wasn't tied, but they looked like they might have been tied in a bath. And kind of, when I read those lines, I kind of, for some reason, thought about that. And kind of almost did, I guess it's a kind of a classic cinema thing. You know, it's what Hitchcock did, was essentially kind of uh, start with maybe uh, someone up a tower, they've got vertigo, somebody dies, and then kind of work backwards and kind of build out a story. So I think, I think you know, certainly for any film students, it's quite an interesting way of working. Uh, and for the designer in me, I like a brief. And... Uh, but I like a very vague one that I can bend and play with, and I think this this project gave me that opportunity to kind of bend and play with the grief and kind of play within it. But yeah, it was a girl semi naked in the bath. Yes, is it? So, besides the limitation of the dialogue, the other limitation was the aspect ratio you were working in. How did that inform your choices here? Well, I mean, the specific shots. I mean, it wasn't so much of a limitation. It's kind of, kind of, yeah. It was, it was a great opportunity to kind of, to kind of go bigger, if you like, in places. And as we all know, um, bigger isn't better. But in this instance, it kind of is. And there are others. And uh, I think in, in a lot of these films, but certainly within Dark Room, there are key shots where it's kind of, um, it's kind of, let's 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 go for the full kind of it. It was liberating, and you kind of went, okay, when, when that building site conveyor kind of goes up and you first see the city for the first time, uh, 21 9 would give you one hell of a kind of a kind of a, a vista, if you like. So that's why the city was kind of left quite open. And I think um, it's almost lovely to be able to let environments kind of seep into shots, and you kind of, you, you, you're kind of, if you like, you, you kind of, um, you know, my film isn't very, uh, performance-led, in, in the sense of, um, as you can see, you know, they're, they're, they're characters and you, you kind of guess at what they're about. 
And uh, I kind of like the environment to do the talking, and I kind of, you know, I think everything has a kind of a language. And I think working on a big scale meant that we could kind of tell a story in a different way. But yeah, that certainly that big white pup is is twenty one nine gets you more of a more of a more oomph, if you like. Yeah, it certainly did. Um, anyone else? Yes, down here. Have you actually fleshed out the larger story based around the shore? And do you think you'll ever make it? Uh, well, I, I, prior to this, I mean, my kind of background <coughs> some time ago was design. So I'd always convinced myself that I didn't have any aspirations for any longer format work. Um, interestingly, and somewhat belatedly, given that I'm 40, uh, I actually found this project, because I, I love making commercials, and I really do, and I love design-based work, and I like to think I do a good job of it, but this has actually kind of given me a kick. So yes, I've started, well, I've pretty much written a narrative that it doesn't necessarily pertain exactly to this, but yeah, it builds around it, and yes, I think there is the capacity to kind of start building these up into bigger pieces. And Jake and I had an interesting conversation, Jake Scott, who directed The Hunt, had a very interesting conversation about kind of how short films just really kick you up the arse and kind of actually just remind you how much you love kind of kind of playing this way. So, so yes, to all of it, really. Yes, please. Uh, what did you think of the other four films when you first saw them? I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, there's a, yeah, there's been a bit of a, uh, I'd call it friendly competition. Uh, you know, uh, I've kind of said this before, if you put uh, five directors in a room together, you don't really get a party. You know, it's kind of, uh, and most rooms only have four corners, so you find that, you know, someone's going to be, it'll be me in the middle. But, um, yeah, it's kind of, uh, it's been, it's been, in a very friendly way, competitive. You know, everybody's been kind of pushing. Yeah, everybody's. It's been a bit like being at school, and you're kind of, you're kind of, you're intent on kind of keeping what you're doing kind of a secret. So I've only recently, literally within the last few days, seen all of the films. Um, I have to say that 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 I think they're so diverse that there's there's definitely three that I really like. Which, which I think out of five <laughs> is an excellent hit ratio. <laughs> How much do we want to know? <laughs> but, um, anyone else? Yes, please. I was just curious um, how long it took you to make the film from concept to finished product? Oh, oh, uh, <coughs> it, it took a while. Uh, it became. I think they've all become a bit of a labour of love in a way. I think it, it, in, in plain terms, uh, we kicked off in kind of October, November, and uh, and kind of uh, I think we finished sound last week. So so it, a, a disproportionate and absurd amount of time that we should be angry about, <laughs> and furious with someone, but we kind of enjoyed it. So we well, really enjoyed it. So yeah, I think uh, there's been a lot of too much tinkering, you know. But yeah, so it's been a while. It really has. But but then again, you know, I enjoy those kind of projects where you can you can take the time and uh, kind of just really get into it. We kind of we kind of uh, it just so happened that we kind of shot our, our way back into the NC and. Uh, and there was almost like a bunker kind of mentality where we were all kind of cramped into a tiny space on that final shot. And it's kind of, uh, and, and uh, as cheesy as it sounds, it kind of reminds, it, it kind of almost for me epitomized the joy of filmmaking. It is working with talent. It is working with actors. It is good design. It is great kind of um, set design. And it's, got, it's all of these things. And, it, and it's kind of, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was fantastic, actually. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Johnny.